to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Leah. And one thing that I am really passionate about and decided to create a channel all about is how to be savvy in the kitchen, being good stewards of our money, our resources, and our time. If that sounds fun to you, I would love for you to like this video and subscribe to Savvy Saute. I think it's really important to not only spend less at the grocery store, but also to use those ingredients in the best way possible to help them stretch. We don't wanna have food waste and we definitely don't wanna waste our money. And even more, we wanna be able to enjoy what we're tasting. So my goal today is to share with you two recipes that I ended up using very little of my grocery budget for. In the month of June and July, if you've been following along, my goal has been to spend less than $30 a week. And so far, we are doing awesome. So what I did was take $6 of that budget and used it to go toward these two recipes that I'm gonna share with you today. I have not made homemade jam by myself ever. And I was really excited to give it a try. I don't have a pressure canner. I do have a pressure cooker, which is my Instant Pot, but I don't have a canner. I don't have a jar lifter. I don't really have the necessities in order to do canning. And I wanted to see how hard would it be to can something simple like a jam that doesn't need to be pressure cooked without going out and buying anything new for it. So what I did was use some budget berries that I purchased on clearance, which is amazing. And then I purchased for $1.99 a box of pectin. So looking back, now that I've done the recipe, I wish that I would have looked for the sugar-free pectin so that way I didn't have to use so much sugar in this jam recipe. But hindsight is 2020. So I think what was really amazing about this was that I truly did not need to buy any kind of special equipment. I have a stock pot or my Dutch oven is what I use for the actual jars to prep them and everything sealed beautifully. I didn't have anything to lift the jars out of besides just a regular pair of tongs and everything went great. So I'm excited to share this with you. If you have never canned before, I think jam is the perfect way to start. You can use any berry or fruit that you have, whether you wanna do it as an apple sauce, you wanna do a berry jam, you could do a jelly and strain out all of the pulp, like peach preserves, you could do pie filling. All of those are gonna be so easy to do and do not require pressure canning. So without further ado, let's get started with the jam. Because I picked up these berries on clearance, I wanted to make sure I separated out the ones that needed to be used quickest. Some of them were gonna be going on their way out soon. So I got those in the sink with a quick wash. I used this stuff from Trader Joe's. And then one of my biggest pet peeves with cutting berries or fruit of any type really is wasting any of the flesh. So I wanted to make sure I stuck my knife into the berry as opposed to just cutting the tops off straight across. So once you get all of them prepped, you're going to need to process them in a blender or a chopper or whatever. You could definitely do it by hand, but I found it was quicker in my blender. And you're gonna need a total of five cups of that after it's prepped. Along with the five cups of fruit, you're gonna need one box of pectin and seven cups of sugar. So go ahead and have everything measured out before you even get started. It'll make it so much easier. In order to use my Dutch oven for the jars, instead of a really deep pot, I used the smaller jars. That way that they would be able to be covered completely with the water. So put that onto the stove, let it come to a boil, put the lid on, and once it reaches a boil, you're going to turn it down to simmer and let those continue to be in that hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes, as well as in a separate container, do the fresh new lids. You don't need new rings, but you do need the new seal lids. The recipe called for lemon juice, but I had limes and it worked perfectly. So it was about four limes total that I needed 
you'll just add that fresh juice with your pectin and all of the crushed berries into a pot. The one I used wasn't quite deep enough. It worked, but at the very end, it started to bubble over. So I would recommend something deeper if you're going to use a full recipe. Once it um, was fully dissolved, you're gonna add the sugar and this was seven cups. So pour that in, let that come to a full boil and then it needs to continue to boil for another minute on like real fast rolling boil. I carefully scooped the stuff into the jars, but I would like to have a funnel next time. Then you're gonna put the lids on, cover it back in the water with the lid on and let it boil for about 10 minutes. Once that time is over, you're going to leave the lid on, turn off the heat and let it sit in there for an additional five minutes. Then you wanna carefully lift them out of the water and put them onto a cushiony towel on your counter and just leave them alone. You're gonna to wanna to let them sit out for about 24 hours. I didn't do that quite long with mine, but anything that does not have a proper seal, you're going to need to store in the refrigerator. So I was able to have all of these ones with the silver lid were perfectly sealed. You're gonna hear them pop really loud. And then whenever you check them the next day, make sure that the actual seal underneath the ring, if you take the ring off, make sure that that is very tight. Otherwise it didn't seal properly and you'll definitely need to keep that in the refrigerator. Otherwise, they can stay in a cabinet or the counter. You can gift them to friends and you don't have to worry about using them right away. Another thing that I wanted to utilize in my kitchen this week was a gift of homegrown cucumbers that I received. So normally we just don't go through six to eight cucumbers in a single week and I did not want them to go bad. So you can't really freeze cucumbers and eat them like fresh in a salad. So I was trying to be creative and figure out what to do with all of these cucumbers. And I decided I can pickle them and they will last longer. So it didn't cost very much money for the ingredients to pickle them. Vinegar is really cheap and I feel like it's a staple you should definitely keep in your kitchen. So I went ahead and used the vinegar that I had, salt, which was kosher salt. You can buy specifically for pickling, but it's also really good on other things. And in the future, I'm gonna share with you how to use that kosher salt on homemade soft pretzels. I also wanted to use dill. You can make a sweet pickle, a sour pickle. Dill is my absolute favorite. So I picked up a pack of fresh dill for $1.99. And then I just put all those ingredients together, peppercorns, and created a way for these pickles to last longer. And they taste amazing, so fresh. If you go to Costco, some grocery stores have the brand Grillo's and they are a fresh pickle. They have all good clean ingredients, no dyes, none of that extra stuff that's not necessary. And they taste amazing, by far my favorite pickle. I highly suggest trying them. And if you like them, you are going to love these homemade refrigerator pickles. So let's get started. Before we left for vacation, I stuck the cucumbers and the fresh dill in this produce box and it all stayed very fresh for me for an entire week. So once we got back, I went ahead and made the pickles. I used about four large cloves of garlic. I just peeled them whole and stuck that into the mixture. So I didn't actually do anything besides peel them. I could have used half the amount of dill that I used and I think they still would have turned out great, but I just used all of the dill. I cut off the end sprig so it wasn't, you know, big sticks in there. I just used the fluffy part of the dill, basically. Got that ready. And then with the cucumbers, I determined I wanted pickle spears out of them. You could slice them into chip size or whatever you want, but this is how I cut mine. Next, you're just gonna go ahead and start putting everything into the container that you want. This was just an old pickle container, but you could even use a Tupperware, a jar, whatever you have. I stuck the dill all in there. Then I went ahead and put the whole garlic cloves in there. 
then I added a couple of tablespoons of kosher salt and then peppercorns. So you can get creative with it. If you want to have a little bit of a sweet pickle, add some sugar. You can add some crushed red pepper flakes, different seasoning if you want to give it a try. And then I covered the cucumbers and everything in that jar with some water. I think it was about two cups, but I will leave the recipe linked in the description box for you. And then I think it was two tablespoons of vinegar. Whatever kind you have, if you have white distilled vinegar, apple cider vinegar, either will work. I used apple cider. You could let these sit for a couple hours and eat them at that point, but they're gonna definitely be better and more pickled if you let them sit in the fridge for about 24 to 48 hours before you take your first taste. And then I think they said that they should last in the fridge for a couple of weeks, but of course, test them out. If they smell or taste bad, don't continue to eat them. So anyway, these tasted amazing. I'm so glad that I tried them out. Perfect for the summer. No cook necessary. They're awesome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that this was inspirational for you. Get in your kitchen and use up what you have. I've got all of this jam. I'm gonna be giving some away. Some of them, I, like I said, couldn't actually seal because I didn't have the kind of lids that I needed for that. So any extra, I went ahead and just put into some jars I already had, and we're gonna be giving those away. I've got these awesome pickles that we are enjoying. And then let me know in the comments below, what should I do with more homegrown gifted cucumbers? So let's find out what kind of recipes you all have. Share them with us. I'd love to hear from you. And until that next video, I will see you in those comments.